High school football is a Texas tradition. It draws Friday night crowds, competition, and a risk of injuries. KFDM's Haley Bull reports what put a High Island football player in the hospital during practice and how the community is offering its support. High Island, Texas, a small town dotted with oil rigs known for its birds, beaches, and tight knit community. I think the school, not just football, but the school itself is. is the heart of this community. A school with 144 people, football team with 19 players, now missing one of their own. You know, it's, it's like their brother, and uh, they, were, they were very concerned. High Island football coach Brent Williamson says his players were running through their routine practice drills Wednesday evening when a player was injured. One of those freak accidents that happened. It was clear to everyone 15 year old Brandon Gidry needed immediate medical attention. You're not sure if he can go into coma or if he broke, he could be paralyzed or this millions of things goes through your head. Gidry's aunt Tiffany Boyette rushed to the field just after someone took this cell phone video. A medical helicopter flew Brandon to Galveston Hospital after he took a hit to the chest. I seen the whole team player was in tears, the coach, the principal, and everybody was just, it touched my heart to see everybody was gathering together. That's when she snapped this photo. It wasn't long before news spread. Right now, this practice field is empty, but Wednesday night, there were dozens of community members lining this fence supporting Brandon. And the whole community came up to the school even when he was gone. Even more touching to the family. Many of those same people showed up at the hospital supporting the high school sophomore. And it's just touching how you have so many people that really cared about you and you didn't even know about it. Brandon is recovering from his injuries. His family says he's expected to be okay, but don't know when he'll take the field again. He may not be there in person, but he will be there in spirit and we know we're going to win this for him. In High Island, Haley Bull, KFDM 6 News. Brandon's aunt is thanking the community for the prayers and support. She wrote a Facebook post and said, quote, it's making me cry as I watch this and type this. She says Brandon is happy to see how much he's loved.